Hello again, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another video, short video where I explain different analysis techniques for Sudoku. If you like my videos, be sure and give me the thumbs up and you might think of subscribing as well, be greatly appreciated. Alternating inference chain or ultimate chains, as Duncan calls them, right. Now, every other chain that we have looked at is really a subset of this alternating inference chain. And what it means is we're going to start with strong chain, a strong link, and the chain is made up of strong, weak, strong, weak, and it always ends with a strong. And a weak link can always be substituted by a strong link. Now, I haven't populated the entire puzzle. Um, this puzzle again came from Duncan's website. Thank you, Duncan, they're great. And I'm using Sven's Sudoku pad uh, to show it. So let us have a look at where the chain is. Now the chain is here in these four cells. And that's why I've used different notation here, just so that the numbers are easier to see than in the rest of the cells that I have populated. It actually starts here on this cell and it ends here on this cell. And I'm going to color those as I did before with a gray. Before this, we'd always look to see, well, what is common between them? And we'd say that's going to be the possible, but this one is unusual. We're going to start with the possible six and we're going to finish with the possible eight. And believe it or not, our target is this eight in here. So, so we're going to go from this cell over to this cell and from that one to this one. So let's mark those, we'll mark them green. Now, so what are the actual links? Well, we start off here with six linked over to this six here and that is a strong link. We go from that six to a nine, which is a weak link. We go from that nine to this nine, which is a strong link because there's only two nines in that column and also in the house, believe it or not. Then we go from this nine over to this nine here, which is also a strong link. And we go finally from that nine to an eight. And that is the chain. Now let's test it out. We're going to start off here and we say, if that is not a six, well, if that is not a six and there's only two sixes in this row, and it's a strong link, that means this one must be a six. If that's a six, then that is not a nine. If that is not a nine, then this is a nine because there are only two nines in that column. If that is a nine, then this is not a nine. If that is not a nine, then this is an eight. Therefore, this is not an eight. Okay, we started off there with that not a six and we ended up with it being an eight here. Let's take it if it's not an eight. If it's not an eight, that's a nine. If that's a nine, that's not a nine. If that's not a nine, because there are only two here, that becomes the nine. If that's a nine, this is not a six. If that is not a six, this is a six. So that is just to prove that the chain works. The value at one end causes the value at the other end to be the opposite. And either way, this will not be an eight. Now that's it. It is phenomenally powerful. And for me, I have never been able to find one because my mind is just not devious enough to find them. All right. I hope you find them and uh, solve some of these very, very difficult puzzles. So that's it from now. Not sure what the next one will be, but we'll see you again in the very near future. Till then, Slán Tamil.